For a town of 30,000, Big Spring has a diversified economy. The oil industry and agriculture are part of it, but so is the Air Force Base, and locals say they'll have a lot of trouble if it's closed. Webb Air Force Base is one of six in the Air Force Training Command. The demand for pilots is not what it used to be, however, so the Air Force has decided to close two of the six, and Webb is at the top of the list. City fathers are asking why. Flying weather is excellent here, and that's the most crucial factor in a base's success. And Webb has a superior record to many of the other bases. For flying weather, we rate ourselves at 22% attrition factor. The eastern bases must cancel more flights than we do because of weather. Columbus Air Force Base in Mississippi is one eastern base that has worse weather conditions than Webb. It has a generally poorer training record. But Big Spring officials point out that Columbus is in the territory of Senator John Stennis, and he's chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee. In my opinion, it has been a political decision and has been from the very beginning. The Air Force Impact Report says the Big Spring economy would suffer if the base were closed. But people here think the impact was underestimated. It certainly distorted the picture as far as we're concerned. The Air Force tells us that we'll lose about $69 million in direct and indirect uh, purchasing power. We think it's uh, closer in line to be $100, $110, $15 million. The Air Force says it's closing the bases in the name of efficiency, but the politics of the situation may be the most crucial factor. Each base represents a political plum for a politician. There are three such bases in Texas, and that may be too many for any one politician to defend. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News, Big Spring, Texas.